A Momentous Decision by T.A. Niles Seriously, do you know of a single, I mean a single woman or girl who wants or wanted an abortion? We call it choice, but circumstances can surely make a mockery of that concept. And from where do we get the authority to impose our vision of being, our sense of the world, on someone else? In this instance, a woman or girl. Ah, that's right, from a book written by men. I haven't had to drape a dirty tarp of disassociation over a cast iron cauldron of emotion. I haven't had to decide to hide or reveal the truth of seed taking root within the core of me, or till the soil of blooming doubt and dread. I haven't had to lift my trembling eyes to parents, a lover, a spouse, while trying to untwist my tongue, contorted in confusion and convolution so that I could utter the unutterable. I haven't had to cross the barrier between sound and meaning as I watched their lips move in pity, horror, condemnation, or in best-case scenarios, care and understanding, all rippling across their faces, the hues morphing at the news. I haven't had to fight the urge to cringe or wrap my shoulders around my head like a shawl of shame as I reached for the clinic door handle. I haven't had to stare a blank-faced receptionist in the eye, keeping my face empty in the fullest of moments. I haven't had to open myself wide to expose the most tender part of me to someone who has no business being there, under different circumstances. I haven't had to flinch from the invasion of icy, uncaring metal piercing my core with seeming indifference. I have not had to submerge or cast aside images of cribs and playgrounds have not had to throw dirt over DNA-spawned dreams or engage in bitter debate with my fiercest enemy, myself. I have not had to make the most mind-bending, heart-rending decision a human being can make, to be or not to be, for a potential someone else. Some decisions fade into the bowels of their aftermaths. This decision perches on every bough of being, sometimes buried in life's falling leaves, at other times stark in glare of memory's light. I haven't had the final say in such a decision, but I must claim the part I've played in this partnership of pain.